Uh, so I'm not going to pull any punches with you on this uh, this recording because you're probably not going to believe me. And I talked with uh, Kevin about this, and I told him I, I even said this to him. I said, if I told people that I got a twelve thousand percent increase in your Pinterest page within a week without doing any shady tricks or anything that was just bland, and it was driven by good video content. Like, like I, there's no way anyone would believe me. And so you're probably going to be tempted to click off from here, which I would totally understand. But if you're willing to follow along with me, I'll open up the back end dashboard and show you some things. I'm not going to show you the, the, the strategy or how, because that's where we're going to get to. And if you're not keen on where this is going, you more than likely just need to click off now anyway. So if you're not interested in Pinterest, you know, just click off, save yourself some time, save me the click budget money so that way I can reuse it for something else. But um, but I want to I want to encourage you to, to follow along with me, open up your mind for a little bit. And uh, because Pinterest is a unique opportunity that's right now, especially with all the things going on with other social media platforms and the things that are just fluctuating. And, you know, I mean, there's, there's social media platforms out there that their algorithm changes to over 300 times a year. And so I just, I mean, you think about it, that's almost a couple times. I mean, every week, you know, there are changes you got to keep up with. And so uh, when we're going through this, you know, just again, keep your mind open, keep your heart open and, and dream a little bit because this thing is um, the kind of targeting that we can do when it comes down to Pinterest, it, it'll just blow your mind. So um, to kind of give you some backstory here, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how this exact account literally is like video. If you go video boss right now on Pinterest, you can find him, follow him. He's got some fantastic DIY video hacks you can do and be like from your phone. I mean, this dude is a genius and we're not kidding when he says he does some of the best content for, uh, for paid advertising that's out there. And one of, uh, one of the craziest things is being able to see what he does in real time so it's it's no mistake the why this account has grown the way it has and let's go ahead and uh, jump into some of these over some of these uh growth patterns and i, and I think that you're going to enjoy what you see uh so let's just kind of gander like wander around for a little bit and just kind of explore because when it comes down to the type of engagement you get you're going to see a lot of comparison and we always want to see uh, right here, you can see the impressions back on September 4th. We're recording this on September 26th. So we really started to incubate this on September 17th. So as we are uh, actually, I take that back, September 18th, I apologize. So September 18th, we started to, uh, no, I take that back again. So yeah, it was September 17th and we started to uh, incubate and grow a little bit, you know, took a little dip. And next thing you know, it started to, jump all the way up from 200 view uh 200 views and sets of eyeballs bam the seven thousand, and you know we're uh, about to just absolutely just skyrocket this thing but these are real people though these are not uh fake robots or any type of shenanigans being pulled because the, the truth to the truth to social media is that it's engagement. It, you, it doesn't matter how many uh, followers you have. It doesn't matter how many, uh, you know, nothing else matters except how many people are seeing your content, repeatedly taking action on it. So where when your funnel, your next step of, you know, if you want to push them to a squeeze page or you want to push them to a blog, like that next step is determined on you. So this way you can pick up from there and be able to have that convert into either an email subscriber uh, or a you know a gentle nudge into a, a purchase a purchase checkout. Now you're probably by now looking at these statistics and thinking like twenty one thousand percent is just ridiculous. Now let me explain something here, okay? Because when it comes to Pinterest, you got to think about how it's structured. There are some things that are uh, that are happening right now with Pinterest and how they have developed a platform that is unbelievable. Like you look at Sprout Social, Hootsuite, you look at a lot of, uh, 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 you know, one of their softwares, Ad Espresso, did a, a blog on Pinterest, and you look at how they're structured. You got about two thirds of the audience that are on Pinterest that are female. Now, why is that important? You got to think about 
um, you know, how, how many decision makers are within the United States that are on this platform? And that, per, like, I kid you not, are you probably guessing 50, maybe 25, try 85%. 85% of, <laughs> of the decision makers in the United States are, like, are, are female. And it's amazing to see how how women are being able to influence such an amazing thing, and just to see the united front is it, it just it it takes me back in my seat just to see how amazing um, and uh, how amazing they are their their brains are wired because when it comes to Pinterest, let's be honest, Pinterest you got to think about what is interesting, so you got to think about Pinterest is pin, uh, is interesting, so it's Pinteresting. And so when it comes to natural content, women are not idiots, okay? Like, whew, man, they, they, they can sniff some um, from a mile away. And, so, <laughs> and you know, you, when it comes down to good content, you have to be authentic, you have to be real, and, and you have to really uh, connect. And so when it comes down to it, there are also <laughs> – there are – I think the last the statistic was like there are five new men making an account on Pinterest every day. And I'll go back and double check that statistic, but that is blows my mind away because you think about how men are jumping on this platform because either they're like they're going through a new life event, uh, they're going through something that it just that anyways, it just whatever the reason is, the guys are on Pinterest because they want ideas too. I mean, that's why I got on Pinterest. I wanted to know more about, uh, I know I want to know more about a DIY home decor and being able to categorize the memes and funny ideas that I come across, you know, that I just reserve for, you know, that's what she said moments or just, uh, just dumb moments. And that's what really uh, fueled me because for me, I don't know anything about home decor, but I know Pinterest is the place to go to when I want ideas or when I want, I want to, be able to understand something it's that and it's uh, google and youtube to go and find out the how to do it but if i come across something that's a really quick inspiration you know impulse idea then the next thing i know pinterest is going to give me a really quick mental note and that's the reason for it and that's the mindset you want to think about and that's why with content and when doing this with kevin has been beyond amazing because when you have good content that people want to engage with this right here can happen now it's interesting because we're there's a lot of strategy when it goes down into uh, a lot of the uh, the analytics and the statistics for uh, for uh, Pinterest and making sure that the tracking's done right and you have a lot of things and so what's amazing is that you look at the type of content that you're posting from different channels from different types of things and you're probably wondering or banging your head up against the wall right now and asking what in the world how does this even happen how this is crazy this is nuts. I don't believe it. And so let's just go ahead and crack open some of the audience insights and being able to, to be specific. You know, you, he's got a, a course out right now that is just, it, it's, it, I, I would say if you have a course right now on how to create videos, uh, when it comes to paid advertising, um, you'd be, you'd be uh, a fool not to look at his stuff and, to be able to go through some of these things. So we'll just kind of dial down to hear some of the age demographics and I'm going to reserve this right here. So some of the age brackets that you and I will both know that have a, uh, that have disposable income are 25 to 54, 55 to 64 is kind of pushing the envelope because a lot of, a lot of people that age are not tech savvy when it comes to creating and editing videos. So we want to stick to the age bracket that does make sense. And, you know, when it comes to uh, when it comes to Pinterest, we want to really have a heavy female demographic because, like, let's be honest, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of women are way more creative than men. So and I'm a guy and I can completely say that. And that is the reason why I got on Pinterest, because I am not that creative. I just know it looks good. OK. And so I don't really care. And so <laughs> But when it comes down to being able to target with Pinterest, this is where it gets really fun. Now, let's go ahead, and uh, you're probably wondering, like, this is this is bananas. How much are you spending on ads? And I know he's not going to mind me showing this. And this is all down to his specific strategy and knowing how to do it. And you can be uh, just don't make sure your jaw does not hit the floor when you see these numbers pop up. 
because I think that you're going to hurt your chin if you are not careful. Um, get a little, there we go. And as you can see that when it comes down to uh, products that are worth over $500 to $1,000 that, you know, having that type of exposure and that type of growth in a short amount of time within Pinterest and guidelines and regulations and being able to have that, your chances of being able to break even are pretty freaking awesome. So let's dig into just a, uh, a unique little, uh, just a, a demo uh, ad account. So this way, or ad campaign, so you can just see the depth. Okay, so it's unique because um, when it comes down to the targeting, we'll just come down here really quick. I just want to show you how how narrow this can go because if you're if you're looking in the right places, then you know exactly what you need to target. Now, if you're in real estate, if you're in any array of the home industry, if you are uh, landscaping, you know, home remodeler, if you are uh, if you're a chef, if you have a restaurant, you know, you can target down locally per zip code when it comes to Pinterest. And what's unique about it is that when you're going through, say, architecture, okay, yeah, you, know, you want to be able to have, remember these different types of analytics over here when it comes to these audience insights, which are the stuff that I skipped over here. So I'm not going to show you this right here, but um, hang on one second when it uploads, I'll just scroll down here. But there's the data that's up there in the audience insights right here. You have categories and interests. So then we use that for this category and the interest. And so we start to use data that's out there. You look at DIY. How many of you are woodsmen or wood craftsmen? You know, how many of you are able to, uh, how many of you are doing things that are locally focused right now, but you want to expand into, you know, say, making your own course, how to create custom cabinetry, how to create, you know, a, um, how to do your own uh, bedroom uh, remodel or something that, or, or something that to create wooden shelves in there. I, mean, I just go crazy with it. Be creative with it. And you look at how with pottery and you look at woodworking right here has its own category. And then you look at wood projects and woodworking techniques. And there's your answer for something that you probably had no clue that was even possible on Pinterest. And that's just one combination. But you look at DIY techniques and supplies, I imagine that with DIY hacks, that's going to be a pretty freaking awesome thing. And so, the, like, this is how narrow it can go. I mean, look at this glue gun, glitter, dye, direct, like, it gets pretty ridiculous. And you look at DIY projects right here. This is just going down into two layers of depth. And so you look at DIY projects, say, let's go down to woodworking here for a second. Let's go to, say, origami, leather crafts. DIY crafts. Let's go through and see what they have for their can chain. Okay, oh, okay, so this is kids crafts, driftwood crafts, and then you've got crafts by months and seasons. Now, now this is where it gets pretty unique because you're going into fall. You know, if you're doing stuff Thanksgiving, right? You want to be relevant. You want to do things by the month. I mean, look how insane this can get. You know, that can that is a very broad and general address right here. So you may want to just go ahead and do and look into all of these. And so. You, you kind of get the point. You get where it can actually get really nuts. And so we go to even down in entertainment. We look at movies and TV shows and different stuff and look at genres. Yeah, you, know, you have cartoon, comedy, kids, movie, reality, TV shows. So if you if what your brand can go along with is a reality show, then those types of content will start to be able to be relevant with your content. And so it's pretty unique. And so you got event planning. So if you if you're an event planner, a wedding planner, if you're you know doing things, if you're a photographer, if you're a commercial photographer. You look at these different things and you think it back about, you know, this is mainly, you know, for getting ideas. But yes, the unique part about this is that when everyone's on it, everyone's on it. B to C, whether they're executive or they work at McDonald's, they're on it. And being able to target this and put it back in front of them is what makes the difference. So you look at financing. You look at real estate, you look at how buying a home or selling a home, if they're getting a loan, if they're interested in doing that. Because here's the thing, Pinterest is the third largest search engine in the world behind Google and Bing. And you can find that information on uh, Sprout Social, Hootsuite, those different ones that are have done articles on that. And they've got the statistics on, the, on Statistica as well. Ah, man, that's a mouthful. But I want you to, to go back and look at those. And even the links are here below with this, uh, with this video, if you've made it this far through it already. But uh, one of the 
biggest things that if you look at financial planning, budgeting, investments, retirement planning, if you're looking at banking and look at how depth and depth this can go. So you combine this type of targeting with events and life events with what they're able to do. You know, food and drinks is something that, you know, restaurants, if you're looking to do things with, uh, you know, targeting them on here. I mean, this is kind of nuts that the fact that you can target even down to the types of uh, different types of audiences when it comes to beverages. You've got, okay, so that's all the alcohol stuff. <laughs> Non-alcoholic drinks, coffee, who loves coffee? And so then you look at hot chocolate and milkshakes. And so these are interest-based ones that are really narrowing down. You look one, two, three, four layers deep. I kid you not, I guarantee you, you can get more in depth on some of these different topics. And so you look at like infused water and sparkling water, edible seeds. Okay, interesting. Uh, eggs. Look at how in depth this can go. You know, with with uh, major brands when it comes to you know advertising plays. If you're looking at you know if you are a subsidiary of a larger corporation, then what happens is you want to be able to get in front of these people who are looking for these specific types of ingredients or products that can truly help co-brand your product or service or your name. And so. It, it can become very fun, especially when it comes to e-commerce, when it comes down to anything home related and you're looking at how in depth this can go. And also too, that if I can, if I can get that amount of exposure and that amount of time with real engaged people for under 50 bucks, imagine what we can do for a hundred dollars a day. And so what's unique is that being able to have these different types of strategies in place and having this, this user data, this real time engagement data, you can not only critique your offer, but also to understand what type of content you need to get better on, but also to improve that, whether it be through a course like what Kevin has or something that's in-house and just with your internal graphic design team. Now, what's amazing is that even having resources like that at my fingertips, that if that's come, if push comes to shove and you need help in that area, you just let me know. But when it comes down to data and having control over what you are able to target and know exactly being uh, to, to, to be able to file down based on their interest, there's a lot of ground to cover. Like this is literally like right here, all the stuff that I've been breaking down are all under one category. I'm still scrolling. This is all one category. And the, this is all under one subcategory of a subcategory, all of which are under just food and drinks. And you can see here in the parentheses that every subcategory, there's 28 subcategories just in that. There's nine subcategories, 12 subcategories, 19 subcategories under desserts. And you can see even under here, 21 under cake, two under cake design. So how deep this can go, how nailed down because of how the interest, both online and offline, I've witnessed and how it can bring people together and how they rally around your entire content, your mission. When I was overseas in, uh, in South America for a year, I was over the outreach and the number one thing we did, we did a little things a little backwards, we did a little bit different. We, I was part of a team to help start a church from scratch, and I had to learn Spanish within six, within a couple months, within two months, to be able to get fluent enough to gain traction in what I needed to do. In the meantime, I was using Google Translate, charades, and sound effects to connect with people who were who were local. But one thing I I started to uh, started to see was that my heart again started to fall in love with the people there, and I started to realize how the other common related interests started to bring others together for one common goal was to connect after six months of being there in columbia we actually had 85 young adults every week showing up faithfully whether it was from learning english to playing basketball to you know playing soccer regardless of the fact they showed up and it, that's not something that you can meet a stranger and have them show up faithfully every week now I say that because when you transfer that to online, where does that play in business? I mean, my first venture I ever did, we did multiple six figures from, you know, almost shutting the doors uh, within nine months. And that's where we leveraged 
social media and offline strategy to be able to build a company where I spoke to the uh, the owner or now retired owner on his birthday the week prior to this recording. And he's now watching his sons take his legacy and live in satisfaction. You do have a message to say, and you do have an audience out there waiting. And I can't wait to bring this type of strategy and this type of data to your front door to work on your behalf. And I've broken things down into a membership so that way it's digestible for you. You don't have to have a, uh, have a high commitment rate because there are things that I learned when I learned Spanish in, in Colombia was that we broke it down to three times a week. You know, an hour and a half session and we I, I learned something, applied it the next day, came back, learned, learned something new and applied it that day and the next day and just kept it on rotation. And now I'm 60% fluent in Spanish, 60 to 70%. You know, you have some muscle, uh, some uh, muscle memory in there and you lose some stuff after eight years, but still. It's interesting to be able to, we're not eight years, but six, uh, seven years, but um, it's interesting to see how when you learn something and you apply it, you retain it. And I've built the membership out because I realized that there are a lot of levels to Pinterest and that you're not going to be able to digest it in one second. However, you can go through this at your own leisure. We're going to have group calls. We're going to make sure that everyone's on point, get questions answered, but also to make sure that you're able to to build something that you're that you're proud of. That when you see your message out there, people are connecting with it, engaging and sharing with their friends and family because they love you. So with that being said, uh, I'm excited. And one of the things too is that if you don't have time to do it yourself, we've also got a uh, or it's, uh, an option where we do it with you or do it for you. And we'd love to chat with you more about that. And if this video is on a proposal, then you are already a, it's one step ahead. And I look forward to being able to connect with you and being able to um, to follow up on our whether it be a previous conversation or a brand new one that we're about to have. I am beyond excited to be able to to make your message known to an audience that has a major influence both within not only the United States but also to the world.